Hey guys, uh, I got some question regarding video work on the Canon 550D, the Canon T2i or Canon KISS whatever. So I'm gonna go through some um, some of the questions. How to get um, a pretty good film look. Uh, I'm no pro, I just got this camera a couple of weeks or months ago. But uh, I read a lot and try stuff out, so this is what I've come up with. It, it's it's a beautiful camera. Uh, I use the Canon 50mm f1.8 EF2 with a fader ND filter there uh, and uh, the viewfinder that fits on the camera like that. It makes it much, much, much more easier to uh, pull focus for the shots you do. Um, I also have uh, a shoulder rig that makes everything much, much more stable. And uh, the last thing I did was to build a, um, a camera dolly. And uh, if you if you want, I can take some snaps of the dolly and tell you how I did it. Anyway, what I was going to talk about today is some pretty good settings for the camera. What I do is I try to shoot everything I do in 24p. Uh, why I do that is to get the, the filmic look. Sometimes I shoot in 50 or 60p and um, depending on what video system I set the camera to. There's two video systems, NTSC and PAL. In Europe, we use PAL, and uh, in the United States and uh, Canada, I believe, and many other countries, they use NTSC. If you have uh, the camera set to NTSC, you have the 60 and uh, 30 frames per second settings, and if you have it set to PAL, you have the 25 and 50 frames per second settings and it's no problem to change those if you want to uh, get those frame rates. Uh, if I want to get some really nice slow motion shots uh, I usually film in uh, 720p 50 or 60 frames per second then I import it into uh, Premiere or whatever program I use and interpret the footage as 24 frames per second. Then I can mix it up with other shots I've done in 1080p, um, uh, 24 frames per second. And uh, since it's filmed in 50 or 60 frames per second, it looks pretty good when it's played in 24 frames per second. If you have problems shooting outside, uh, everything is, is set perfectly on the camera. The shutter speed, the aperture, the ISO, everything looks perfect. But it's too, too, too bright. The only way to change that is to change the shutter speed. And to change in the shutter speed would mess up the footage. Uh, in that case you have something called the fader ND. That's a filter that you put in front of the camera on the lens like that. See my face there? It helps me uh, limit the light that comes into the lens. So if I'm overexposed, outside overexposed, shooting a daylight scene and everything is too bright. I just put it on the camera like that and turn down, turn it down like that. Making the, uh, the filter stops too much light coming into the camera. Really really good uh, investment if you want to uh, do film work outside. It costs about $80 at the link I'm posting here. Some people have asked me about shutter speed. The difference between taking photographs with your camera and um, filming uh, a movie or you know video clips is that you can't fiddle around too much with the shutter speed. If you take a photograph you can change the shutter speed to uh, one two hundredth of a second, uh, one six hundredth of a second or whatever. 
if you shoot video you can change that so uh, what you do is you set for uh, a shutter speed that helps you get that filmic look one good rule of thumb is to use a shutter speed that is twice the frame rate if you shoot at 24 frames per second you go for a shutter speed that is 1 50th of a second if you shoot at 25 frames per second you go for a shutter speed that is uh, 1 50th of a second 30 frames per second you set the shutter speed to 1 60th of a second if you go for 60 frames, 50 frames per second you set the shutter speed to 1 hundredth of a second and if you go for 60 frames per second you set the shutter speed to 1 120th of a second that will help get the, the filmic look. Another good thing to, to know about is the exposure metering. That's the, the, little, um, the little thing you see down, hold on, you see it down here, that's the meter. If I press the shutter button halfway down, you see you get a bar there that means I'm underexposed uh, it's too dark to shoot in here so if I change this I change the ISO and I press the shutter button halfway down and you see that little bar there moves around to show if I have a good exposure or not. That's a really really good uh, way to know if um, you're underexposed or overexposed in the footage.